what's going on fox family breaks it's time for another magic video just picked this up from my local game shop a rising star in minnesota and i'm ready to get cracked into this double masters box it's been a long time since i've done a magic video and i thought you know what why not do double masters i mean just bangers galore see what we can get out of this box see if we can open this box this box was a lot of money i mean it was going for like yeah, I'm going for a battery fitty, if you know what I mean. If you know, you know. Um, there we go. Took me forever to open that. Should have uh, should have brought a scissors down just to cut that or a knife. But of course, super excited to get this open. Left that all upstairs. Twenty four packs and just a bunch of goodness in here. Got a cool little draft archetype. So let you know how to draft. What is this like the some plasm? Idle plasm or something like that. That's a cool insert. I like that a lot. I'm going to keep that. All right. <clears throat> what we are here for, double Masters packs. I turned in a lot of store credit, so got this for a little bit cheaper. So either way, no matter what, I think this box is going to work out in my favor. But let's see what we get in here. These other Japanese packs, which means that I believe they got the rare in the front then. So you get like two rares, you get, there's a lot of borderless cards in here. So we start off with always, you always get this cryptic card. You get two foils. Season Pyomancer, right there for a mythic. And then Tanab the Harvester. And you go, oh, we got an Eternal Witness right there. No, another Shadowborn. Nice looking cards right there, just packed from the, from the get go. I mean, imagine just opening up a Season Pyromancer and you're just like, okay, cool. Yeah, let's uh, let's keep going. That normally doesn't happen. Anything cool there? No, Balefire Liege and Splinter Fright. We got our borderless card back here. Selesnia Sanctuary, okay. I'm actually happy about those lands getting reprinted and Burning Tree Emissary as well. So we got all the borderless over there. I enjoy the bounce lands because I play Tulane. <clears throat> and in Tulane, I actually use the bounce lands to get some extra land drops. Uh, Renin six, that's a good uh, foil to get right there. Grim Flare and Food Chain. I didn't even know this was in here. Inquisition of Kozilek as well. So Food Chain is another, um, oh, I'm gonna put that in my Celestia Enchantment deck. I didn't even realize, see, I, didn't even, I don't even know what I'm looking for. There's so much in here. I mean, I know like Imperial Seal is a, a big card to pull. Two Mythics in already. Um, I should probably put all of the f rares here at the end. And by the end, I mean the beginning. Balefire, Splinter. Oh, set is just so crazy. We're like a couple packs in. I just feel like we're getting bangers. All right. <clears throat> Have you had a chance to open up this set? What's your thoughts on it? Got Ashen Rider and a prize Mulgium. Cool, anything, yep, on Earth for another borderless right there. I think Concordant Crossroads is one of the bigger ones I'm chasing in here. And also the Allosaurus Shepherd because of Chulain. Just kind of threw that pack down there, whoops. All right, Gifts Ungiven and Thrumming Stone. This needed a reprint and it got a reprint. That's a very nice card, Path of Exile right there. And at the end we got Culling Oracle. Not too bad, not too bad. All right, next pack. We got nothing here. Bring to Light, that was the promo. And Rune of the Hidden Realms. Anything cool hiding back here? All right, just it's just crazy. We're almost a third of the way through the box. And I just feel like we're just hitting bangers left and right. I have to realize it used to be a rare. Dragon Lord Dramoka, Obnixilis. All right, there we go. We got Thought Scour. Last pack on the right side. And then we'll do a quick recap of the right side there. Sensei's Divining Top, oh my gosh, in the borderless. This was a card I wanted for sure too. 
Can't believe I hit that in the borderless. That's sweet. And then of course you got the Monastery Swift Spear here in common, so you can go and pop her now. <clears throat> yeah, so out of that first side right here, nothing, nothing too crazy. All we got was where all these, I mean the big hitters over there. I mean throwing stones, okay. Dragon Lord Jamoka is all right. Sensei's Divining Top. Um, I mean, could have got a better hit there. Food Chain, like what is that? Actually, that's really sweet with the Hydras. Season Pyromancer. Um, we'll keep the Mythics actually on. So I'm not sure what the Mythic count is here. What do we got? We got four, wait, is it just three? Okay, just three, okay. All right, let's keep going. We are now into the middle third. Anger of the Gods right there in the foil. Looking super nice. And called against Command as well as Doran. That was really good right there. That nice pack. And this is a foil, right? Is that not foil? I can't even tell. I don't think it's foil. I thought it was in... No, that's not the foil one, you dingus. It says Anger of Gods is foil. <laughs> Throw myself off. We'll get the borderless ones thrown here on the side. All right, so we got that stack. We got the mythic stack. <clears throat> here we go. On to the next one. This is like Christmas for magic players right here. Opening this up is like the greatest thing I've ever done. Figure of Destiny, Restoration Angel going over here. Any more borderless? No. All right, so what is it like a borderless like? Every two packs or so, 50% chance of a borderless is what it kind of seems like. All right, Deathbringer and Mind Rack Liege. So another one right there. All right, now we're kind of slowing down a little bit. I mean, for double, ma for double Masters 2022, that's slowing down right there. All right, Orzhov, Basilica, we got another, put that back there. Sensei's Divining Top, because why not just get another one, right? Guided Passage. And we got another Borderless back here, Flicker Wisp. That's a really nice one. Rampant Growth with the old art. Yeah, it's pretty cool looking. I'm gonna have to look at all these Borderless more in depth. I did look at this set, but I wanted to have at least some surprise going in here. Coiling Oracle, Winged Coital, Glimpse the Unthinkable, and Child of Alara. How did you guys end up in this pile? What's going on over here? Cannot wait, <clears throat> excuse me, cannot wait to sort all of this. All right. What are we gonna get now? Nico Bolas, God Pharaoh and Planner Bridge. I think this was a mythic before, so that got downshifted. Another mythic over there. And any borderless? Nope. So we've got four mythics now. Come on, concordant crossroads. I really, really want you. Don't make me buy more double masters. Just kidding. Make me do it. Alicia, Joda. Not too bad. Not too bad. And we got Spell Pierce. The borderless right there. Cool. Last pack of the middle third. What's it going to bring? Another foil rare there of Joda. And we got a Bloom Tender, you know, nothing too crazy right there. Bloom Tender got another reprint. That's pretty sweet, that helps the value. This is a good time to buy some of these banger cards. I mean, you got like Bloom Tender, probably are at like 10 bucks. You know, you can get something really nice like that for cheap. All right, last eight packs. Let's see what we can do here. <clears throat> we have Privilege Position. And Arjun, right there, Privileged Position. That was a good reprint. That was only in, I think, like the Ravnica Guild Pack. So I had to pick up mine. It was like 25 bucks, and that's probably, I don't know, nine bucks now. I'm just guessing. All right, we are getting towards the end. Is it Boilerworks? Anger of the Gods and Reichkar right there. Okay. Got any other cool, nope. I mean, of course there's, I've gone over like a million good uncommons. 
and good common cards in here. I'm just kind of going through here, letting you see a, a fast break opening. I normally take forever on my openings, so I'm trying to speed it up, make it a little bit faster. All right, Jurassic Hall Reaver and Jeskai Ascendancy right there. Any borderless? Yeah, we got one coming up. Seeker of the Way. All right, what do we got left? Five. We got five left. <clears throat> I have no clue if this is a good box, a decent box, a bad box. I mean, I feel like with this, all boxes, you're going to feel like you get crazy value. Glenn, Tariel, okay. Rancor. Was it four packs now? We're, we're down to the last four. <clears throat> I feel like we're due another Mythic. So come on, Mythic. <laughs> there it is, right off the top. Animatu, the Fate Shifter, and Pithing Needle right there. So I asked for a Mythic, ask and you shall receive. Okay, we got how many Mythics in here? One, two, three, four, five. Man, I gotta think, I gotta think I'm getting at least one more. I would think six in Double Masters, maybe even more. Kosher Kozilek, Imperial Archangel, Tall Rand, the card that nobody ever wants to pull in a pack like this. Craziness. All right, last two packs. What are they gonna be? Come on, Sidrus, the Traitor King, Zur, the Enchanter. All right. Feel like we're slowing down. Last pack magic. Here we go. Good luck. Good luck. Come on, something crazy. Grave Crawler, Murphy Liege. We got Azorius Chancery. All right. So I have no clue. You'll have to let me know in the box, in the box, in the comments below, <clears throat> how you think this box was. Here are our rares. Let's go into here. The big rares of note. Uh, probably Privilege, Position, Bloom Tender. Uh, of course, Sensei's Divining Top. Um, they're really worth, I mean, Gifts Ungiven might have a little value. Thrumming Stone. Are probably the big ones I can think of out of there. Um, of course, the Sensei's Divining Top. That's pretty nice right there. This is probably worth, you know, a few bucks. It's not the greatest right there. And Corgan's Command is pretty decent. As for the Mythics, we got Cedrus, uh, and Minatu, Nico Bolas, Seasoned Pyromancer, Dragonlord Dramoka, and Food Chain. The Borderless cards, just to recap. Got Azorius Chancery, Seeker of the Way, Is It Boilerworks, Gruel, Turf Ground, uh, Spell Pierce, Coiling Oracle, Flicker Wisp, Orzob Basilica, Thought Scour, Coiling Oracle again, Unearth, Inquisition of Kozilek, Burning Tree Emissary, and Celestia Sanctuary. There it is, my first Double Masters 22 box. If you think I should open up another one, just comment below and say, open up another one. And I will try my best to go out there and get that. But thanks for watching, everybody, and enjoying a good magic video here because we haven't had one in a while. Catch everybody at the next video.